You are now locked into the Red and Blue Rivalry podcast, the podcast where we talk all things San Francisco 49ers and Dallas Cowboys. My name is Eric Hernandez, and I'm repping for the faithful. And I am Philip Enriquez, repping it for America's team. And on this episode, we have to talk about the week two preview the game for the San Francisco 49ers. They are traveling to the New York Jets with the record of 0-1, two 0-1 teams. The San Francisco 49ers are favored by a touchdown. The injury report is Kittle is questionable and Le'Veon Bell is questionable. So two big names uh, on the injury report. But um, what are your concerns and how do you see this thing going down? Well, I mean, you can't afford to go down 0-2 in this division. And you can't afford to lose to to the Jets right now. They're just not a very good team. That would be terrible. That would be. You can't lose to Adam Gase. That would be even worse. I feel like that would be worse. You know, which, what I'm looking at is is kind of their back are against the wall. I mean, you should be getting... It's brand- like losing to the Brooklyn Brawler on a Saturday oh, morning wrestling. Yeah, that's that's a rough way to start your week. Right. You know, you never want to see that because good teams don't do that. Right. You know, good, you, know you never saw Hogan lose to the no. Brooklyn Brawler. No. no. Macho Man never did that. That doesn't happen. No. So, you don't want to be that team because if you're that team, you know you're a jobber. So I think this team is going to rebound. It's going to come down to their health, I think, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Kittle. And then also getting one of the receivers back. You're not going to get Debo Samuel till at least week four. But, you know, getting Brandon Ayuk to come in and play and kind of just be somebody that Garoppolo can trust would be nice. From what they said, they had a really good rapport in camp. Okay. Um, which is something you want to at least see on the field to see if that's true, you know. Um, he doesn't seem to trust any of the other receivers. You know, that's the way it looked, I guess. But to see Ayuk, you know, you want to see a rookie. You got to see, like, all these other rookie wide receivers kind of show out. Yeah. You know, you want to see yours. You know, even Jalen Rager, you know, a lot of people clown the, the Eagles. I and mean, he caught a bomb, you right. know, and he looked great when he was able to see D. Lamb and Jerry Judy. So I'm excited to see what Ayuk can do, how Shanahan's going to put him in this offense. And... Um, hopefully run the ball some more. You know, yeah. Get that going. Start relying on your strength. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, what about any concerns? Any concerns from the New York Jets? Like I mentioned, Le'Veon Bell's going to be out, so you might be seeing a little bit of your uh, old friend Frank Gore, right? Yeah, I think he's, he's going to start. And you have Sam Darnold at quarterback. He did hook up with Jamison Crowder for, I think, 115 yards and a touchdown against the Bills. I mean, is that concerning? Uh it shouldn't be, no. Um, if I'm being honest, they're they should be able to get out. They should be hungry. That defense. Sam Darnold is not nearly as mobile as Kyler Murray. No. I feel like they won't have that hard of a time finding him. Um, yeah, Jamison Crowder, but I don't think anything else after that. I really do look at it like this is kind of Shanahan's. That was his wake up call. The loss to Arizona, and you can't lose in this game. I need to see more. You know, more running, more play action. He needs to get the receivers involved. I would love to see more Jordan Reed involved. More, you know, motions. Especially with Kittle being hurt. Exactly, you know. And at the end of the day, this to me, this is a do or do. This is going to tell me what they are. Because if they can't beat the Jets or if they can't really kind of dominate, you don't have to blow them out. But, like, you know, those games were, like, Maybe the score doesn't indicate it, but if you watch the game, you know that wasn't close. They were in control. Exactly. They need to be in control from beginning to end against the Jets. Yeah, yeah. And, and I fully expect them to be. I think they're more talented than the Jets on defense and offense, quite frankly. And I, that's not to say that the San Francisco 49ers uh, don't fall short, uh, at least in a, on a few offensive position groups, in my opinion. But you got to beat the Jets, especially without Le'Veon Bell. You know what I mean? You're yeah. relying on Frank Gore. He's an old man. He, you cannot allow him to beat you. The defense was on the field a lot, but they got to be able to stop, you know, Le'Veon Bell. Uh, no Le'Veon Bell, but Frank Gore. Yeah. And, and Sam Darnold, the second-year quarterback. And there's no DeAndre Hopkins to extend drives. Right. You know, there's nothing like that. So my, Murray. These guys are weapons in yeah. Arizona. They're explosive. You don't get that with the Jets. So I think that the Niners will be able to set the tempo, run the ball, you know, they will have a little bit of trouble running the ball because I think the Jets are a pretty good running team. They uh, Running defense, excuse me, they were able to slow down the Bills' running attack. But, I mean, this, like I said, and I'll say it Tom Blue in the face, this is where Garoppolo's got to show. He's got to rebound from that game. He's got to be able to be decisive, to hit his targets, 
and to put it in places where these guys can run and score touchdowns. All right, you got a final score? Yeah, I'm going to go with, I think this is them flexing their muscle. I got San Francisco 34, Jets 17.